Hey everybody, Rich Lavelle with the Vacaville Baseball Barn, and I want to address a couple of things today with a player. So we have a young player here that we've worked on a couple of things, the front arm straightening it out a little bit too soon, but more of not pushing the hands backwards. He's been through our seven iron program, um, somewhat of an advanced hitter, so I'm going to be here with him today and ask him to do a couple of things. One, I want him to increase his stride a little bit. And then from there, I want him to get into the torque position. So let's go ahead and see him get to that. Take your stride, stop at the torque position. So here he is here. And all I want to do is bring his hands away from his body just a little bit. And then I want him to pinch that knee in towards his front just a little bit more. Here's where we're creating separation. All right, loosen up back here because I'm going to pull your hands back. So it's not this. This is not creating separation. That's creating weakness. As his hands are right in here, head and eyes are going to be level to the pitcher. His hands are right at his shoulder. But if you notice, his hips are facing, or at least starting to turn towards the first and second base side, and his shoulders are staying back. OK, go ahead and relax. So that's what we mean by creating separation. And then that's where we create torque is when our lower body starts to turn towards the pitcher or towards the infield and our upper body, our shoulders here stay back. If you'll also notice, his front shoulder was down, okay? So I know it's always a little difficult having kids do this and stopping because that's not what we normally do, but we're gonna, I'm gonna ask him to do it again. I'm gonna go through real quick of the points that I see that are really good. Go ahead and take your stride and stop. So again, we won't stop back here, but I'm getting him into this position so he starts feeling it. I'm going to have him get his shoulder down a little bit more, head and eyes level to the pitcher, hands away from his body, just a tad, and then we're all looking good here. I don't care if his elbow is up high here or it's down a little bit lower. All I want now is continue turning your hips, and then he's going to get to this point, and that's his approach point from his launch, and then he's going to go out to contact to here. At this point, his knee's straightening up, his back foot will drag through. It's very difficult to do as he's standing here, so you're good. Relax. So that's what we start working on with an advanced player. We won't have him back in the impact bag if I can take care of it here. However, I may need to take him over there so I can just see the swing a little bit more. That's what we want to do though, create that separation between the shoulders and lower body so that we create torque and the upper body is whipped through creating more bat speed and power. If you have any other questions, visit us at vvbaseballbarn.com or go to our Facebook page and like us there.